This year's grand prize winning film captures the essence of our festival theme, unintended consequences of our progress. As women, our opportunities to tell our own stories, to be mothers, and to pursue our dreams are more abundant than ever. But in no way does this make our path easy or without setbacks or challenges. Colliding Forces, Mothers in Ballet is a film that takes the audience on an emotional journey of five women around the world whose passion for dance and roles as mothers collide. Inspirational, uplifting, totally original. This film puts grit and grace on full display alongside top level dance performance samples throughout history. Skillful camera work and lighting make this film a standout. So the Leslie J. Sachs Grand Prize Award for Best Feature Documentary and $3,500 goes to Colliding Forces, Mothers in Ballet by Eliza Schroeder. Congratulations for your work on this incredible film. Congratulations to Eliza. Uh, I'll play a clip of the trailer now for us. Not yet, darling. Mom, we've got to dance a little bit first. Mom is going to come in and give you a big cuddle. Like a double life sometimes. <laughs> Get on with you. Enjoy. Enjoy the night, night, ladies and gentlemen. It's quite magical, this profession. It's almost like being a professional athlete. You have a short physical career, and you have to choose that very early on. There's a lot of physical pain that goes into your training, the things we do to our body, those tight shoes that we put our feet into. Definitely someday it should be classified as torture, but we love it. It's definitely high pressure, but you're really living your dream. I loved performing. I performed in the top opera houses around the world and last year I won the Critics Start Circle Award for Best Female Classical Performance. I won the Prix de Lausanne to go to the Royal Ballet School when I was 17. And I worked with the Royal Ballet for 15 years in the end. And then I came back to Japan and I got offered artistic director job at New National Theatre. I never thought that I will dance outside my country. Then this miracle happens. Director from the United States came and gave me a contract. That appointment made her the first Hispanic principal ballerina dancer in the Houston Ballet's